Hi, welcome to the Supremacy Path. I'm Angie, and I was doing something out the window that was strange. <laughs> Wasn't part of the reading. Well, actually, it might be. Mm. Um, this isn't a reading so much as I just want to um, talk about these cards because uh, they're, they're quite magical actually. They have uh, druid and witchcraft um, type ideas. Uh, they're also connected to um, uh, the uh, Order of the Golden Dawn and Aris Crowley. <laughs> which is quite, there is a connection there, uh, which is quite amazing. Um, so, a bit of backstory. Uh, I got these yesterday, I had to wait three weeks for them, <laughs> and they weren't coming, and they were coming, and they weren't, and then they were, uh, it's one of, one of those, you know, I had to wait for them, I had to be patient, even though I wasn't being patient, which is really interesting, so they got here yesterday, and, you know, you know I was looking through them, Gavin, you know, shuffled them multiple times, myself and Ian did, a reading each, very when I say chatty cards, it's not the cards that are chatty, it's your intuitive abilities that have become chatty, you know. So it's, it's not the cards, it's you, because you are, you are everything, and everything is you. That is a song. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so we've done some readings, and I was, you know, shuffling and playing with the cards like you do. And I decided to go through them one at a time, look at the imagery. Um, which I'd done before when I first got them, and they were all in order of, um, you know, from 1 to 10. Um, I think the major arcana were at the back, which is kind of weird, because normally they're at the front. Anyway, um, so yeah, they were, you know, from, from 80 all the way up to the king, where they were in order like that, so, you know quite normal, nothing extraordinary going on there. Um, and then later on, like I say, after we'd done all this stuff and we'd done some readings, and I was going through them one at a time, and I noticed something. As I was going through them, um, this bunch here, and I've kept them um, as they came out, you'll see what I mean in a minute, I've kept the chunks, I'm going to call them chunks, yeah, chunks of cards in the order that they were in as I was going through them one by one. And there was a pattern um, of four cards of the same value, for a better word, um, one after the other. But only these, all the others were random, yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, what was that about? So when I was looking at these cards, so I've kept them in the order that they um, came up in, yeah. So we've got aces, we've got the twos, we've got the eights, we've got the nines, we've got the princes, And we've got the queens. So I'm like, okay, what is this? What is this? What is this magic? So I started looking at them and I realised there is a story. Because uh, these cards are, um, they have, there's more to them than meets the eye. Which is why they're connected to the Golden Dawn and Alice Crowley. And other people, there are two other people uh, that were in that same organisation. Um, and I realised there was a story in each of these sets of numerical value, for a better word. There is a story, and this is the story is different aspects of ascension. So, 
um, I'm not going to go through all of them today in this video. I'm going to go through the first one and then I'll record, you know, a, like, we go, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. That'd be six, six videos, including this one. So, I have to keep these in order now. I can't put them back in the deck, so I can't use the deck until I've done these videos. <laughs> so, oh my god. <laughs> but, you know, this is what we do. So, <clears throat> these are the aces. Okay. Amazing artwork. So, Um, this, this set comes with a tiny little book that doesn't tell you much about the artwork, which in fact doesn't tell you anything about the artwork. Uh, there is a separate book you can buy, which I haven't got yet, just so you know, a bit of uh, information there. So, this is, I'd probably say, is the beginning. Um, your journey of ascension or I, I'd probably say what what we're going through at the moment and have been since at least 2020 if not before but I know everything sparked in 2020 <coughs> excuse me so this card here the ace of wands what this tells me is this is your connection to um, your inner light, to being who you really are. Um, you can call them neutrinos, um, but it's it's the light, the light being, the homo luminous that you are. Yeah. So by activating that, and you can you can um, help help that along. Um, on our Everything is Magic 360 channel, there is actually a DNA activation chakra balance. It's, it's got it's, uh, it's about half an hour, I think, of meditation. It's really good. Go check it out. <coughs> so once you activate your light, yeah, there is a perspective that you gain that is beyond you know, what, what would be down here somewhere. So there's an elevation, there's a an ascension, but not, um, do you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's hard to explain. <clears throat> you get a perspective from changing your perception of who you are. Okay. That's the first one. Second one. So once you do this, you then get into the flow. So even the cup is like a figure eight. Yeah, I can't see a figure eight in this picture, except the cup is like a figure eight. Yeah. So the water represents the flow of energy that is our creative energy because water is connected to the second chakra which is all about creativity yeah um so you've got this this infinite flow of creative energy yeah so it comes down it comes back round so it's it's always flowing you've also got the moon in there which is another sign of your uh, creativity your emotions yeah um, what is really interesting is we've got a sunset going on here. So, my interpretation is, once you activate uh, your light, your DNA, however you want to describe that, once you're activated, this then comes into play, this idea of the um, flow of creative energy. 
But what that also does, it doesn't dim your light, but what it does is it, it channels it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You can actually learn, and that's that's how we create. We create through our hands. Um, and I've experienced this in a dream where I was a being who, in fact, in a dream and in meditation, um, where I have light just coming out of my hands. And, you know, do I create things seemingly out, well, out of nothing, but, you know, everything is nothing, really. Anyway, um, I could ramble on about that for hours. Um, so, yes, this, this idea of this infinite cycle of energy, yeah, we then get, so once you've activated this infinite, so you've activated your light, you've tuned into this infinite, abundant, creative, flowing energy, yeah, then comes the inspiration. <laughs> and again, so we've got three elements here. We've got the element of water, which is actually quite big. Now, I've heard people talking about uh, now is the time for the elements of fire and air, which is, yes, I agree. Um, I mean, the elements are always there, just in different ratios, if that makes sense, yeah. So, we've got this very large body of water through which this inspiration, yeah, is coming from, is coming, you know, through, if you like. <laughs> uh, so we've got air up here as well. But we've also got, we've still got the the fire element in here. Your light. And it's bright. Very bright. But it's actually... Um, how would I describe that? It's oh, how to put this into words. It's not the main. It's not actually the main element, which to me seems kind of strange, because you know people talk about activate your light, and which is yes, absolutely, because that is the main. Um, Trigger, if you like, trigger, or act, act, activator, yeah. But once it's activated, you don't have to do anything then. You can then get on with the business of creating, being inspired. <laughs> Amazing. Which then, so we've got the sunset here, yeah. Which is amazing, and we've got a night sky. And what that enables you to do is to come out of your cave. So before you were homo luminous, you were in a cave. And the bear is also strength. The bear is also guardian. Yeah. So you are guardian of this planet. And by activating your light, in fact, you can actually see, I don't know if you can see that, just here, um, so that would be on the underside of the one of the entrance stones, it's actually illuminated. So you're actually, if you like, you're illuminating your stones as you walk through them, which is quite amazing. Um, so let me know what you think. I think this is the story of the beginning of, you know, what we're walking through at the moment. This very intense, very activating, very empowering energies that we are experiencing at the moment. And it just, <laughs> if the cars, because I, I thought, well, if the cars are running the other way, would it make sense? And... Mm, I don't think they would. I don't think they would. Because
because it all begins with you activating your light. That's where it begins. Um, and that, that can actually be done with the sun at the moment because the, the sun is actually um, a, a massive part of this process and it's not giving us a choice now. <laughs> we're in it. <laughs> so, you know, we're doing it. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the cards and let me know what you think of this. Um, I got really excited about this when I realised that there are stories. So, yes. See what you think. Uh, thank you for being here. And yes, um, dailies are continuing and other bits and pieces like this. Um, so, yeah, thank you being here and don't forget to stay fearless. <laughs>